So what has 12 billion transistors and was just announced last night? That's right, the GTX 1080 Ti. Now Nvidia has finally announced the long rumored, long suspected GTX 1080 Ti and the specifications as well as what they're bringing to the market with it are a bit impressive. Let's jump into those specifications right quick. Once again, notating that it does feature 12 billion transistors with a, a boost clock of 1.6 gigahertz, it's potential overclock is easily hitting two gigahertz according to Nvidia. Featuring 28 SMs with 128 CUDA cores each brings in to a total of 3,584 CUDA cores. That's a significant jump up over the GTX 1080. Not only that, we're seeing this time around instead of a 256-bit bus, we're actually seeing a 352-bit bus, which is a bit odd, but it's still pumping through GDDR5X at 11 gigabits per second because of that band or the, the bus width we've got 11 gigabytes of g5x so a little bit less than uh the titan x pascal but quite a bit more than the gtx 1080. Uh, along with this new bit rate we also see a new compression and tiles caching boost now this uh tile caching and compression can theoretically boost the bandwidth boosted up from just under 500 gigabits per second to up to 1200 gigabits per second now the actual implications of that in games is yet to be seen we'll see that once the card hits the market and we see people get their hands on it and see how those numbers shake out overall we're looking at 35 percent faster than the gtx 1080 so that's a significant boost up that in some instances that's what two 1080s may get you in very poor scaling SLI situations. So that's really, really good. But onto the power delivery, we're looking at an eight plus six pin uh, design with a 250 watt TDP. Now, something really neat to keep in mind here is that they do have a new cooling design with up to 2X the surface area for cooling and a new vapor chamber design within the newer same similar design to the founders edition uh, shroud so some improvements have been made there along with and now featuring a seven phase dual fet 250 amp capable power delivery so overclocking on this one should be quite a bit more fun we shouldn't run into uh, power input being a drawback for overclocking it should come down to pure silicon could this be the overclockers dream well, it seems that NVIDIA is touting it that way. Uh, what are you going to pay for said dream? Well, surprisingly enough, this dream comes in at $699. Uh, I know that you, you're probably going, well, that's the same price as the 1080 Founders Edition. Well, the Founders 1080 has been dropped now down to $499. So for $699, you get a lot of power. And if you were already saving for a GTX 1080, I would recommend say, go ahead and say, keep saving and uh, probably look at that 1080 Ti. That's going to be a really, really good card. Now, availability pre-orders start March 2nd with worldwide availability on March 10th. So keep an eye on that. Stay tuned and we'll see what we can do about bringing you some more coverage on this one. And we'll catch you all in the next video.